Drum roll, please. I feel so stupid. <laughs> Welcome to a first lunch with Brittany in her car. Um, I'm just on my lunch break right now. I'm sitting in the Target parking lot and I just recorded about five minutes of this video and realized that I was on photo and not on video. So um, they have like this water feature at a Target. Oh, and I can't flip my phone around. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sure it was upside down, but sorry about that. Anyway, there's a pond in front of me and a bunch of trees and stuff and it's really shaded where I'm at. It's 82 degrees right now. Um, and I'm on my lunch break. I have to go back in a couple minutes, like 30, 40 minutes. Um, I do need to run into Target and return something um, that I got for Charlie. But wanted to give you guys a, um, I guess like a sneak preview video of what is to come. So I'm, I'm putting my foot down. I'm sick and tired of saying I'm going to do something and not do it. You just have to bear with me and bear with me and Micah on posting videos and getting them edited. That has been our problem is um, we, have, one, aren't good at prioritizing, mainly me, and two, we haven't, like, I, I don't think we've 100% committed or maybe we weren't aware at the time of how big of a commitment it is to do daily vlogs. Um, because there's so much you have to remember. You have to remember to plug your camera in the night before. You have to have it on the counter and ready to just grab as I'm walking out the door. Um, and to like plan what videos you're going to do and not just kind of wing it. Cause that doesn't obviously work for us at all. That's what we've been trying to do. And it's just, it's not the first thing on our mind. It's not in the forefront. Like, oh yeah, we got to film this. We need to get the camera. Let's get the camera and vlog something. Uh, that's all going to change because we have moved. Um, we have 20 acres. We, uh, there's just so much stuff that we have been able to uh, um, line up and get in order so that we can do these videos it's time that we do the videos as well as my blog and I have just been dragging my feet on that and I apologize for everybody that I keep promising um, that I would have my blog up that it hasn't been posted yet so this weekend today is June 7th so I have Friday Saturday and Sunday is off I work Monday through Thursday um, I'm committing to uh, getting at least one blog posted and this video is going up today <laughs> like I've just decided I'm just gonna post it um, and I'm gonna try and do more videos and they might just have to be from my phone because that's what's easy and convenient for me um, so yeah uh, we have planted a ton of plants already we have gone through the raspberry bushes. I just spit everywhere. We've gone through the raspberry bushes, and um, I feel like I'm like giving you guys information that you're like, wait, what? What's going on? Because there's so many things that I've filmed already, and there's so many things like I've taken pictures of that I feel like you guys should already know what's going on, and you're probably like, I don't even know. You probably don't even know that we have 20 acres now. Um. So we moved, we live in Hinkley, Minnesota now, and we live on 20 acres, most of it is forest, um, but it's amazing, it's an awesome place. We are working on becoming self-sustaining and learning how to homestead and farm and um, get back to our roots really, and that's what, um, so my blog is called The Raw Frontier. Yes, I know I've changed the name of it a million times already, but I'm sticking with this one. Um, my last name is Rawlinson, our last name is Rawlinson, so the Raw Frontier, it just makes so much sense. And then, um, Raw Farms is what we will name our farm, I guess, eventually once we actually have, um, a business. So we're just working on figuring all that out and want to take everybody along for the ride. Um, Hopefully it doesn't take decades to accomplish, but if that's what it takes, then that's what it's going to take. Um, I keep saying, um, a lot of fillers in this video, but, but. 
Hopefully the freeway isn't too loud. I'll have to re-listen back to this video. Um, I am kind of right by the freeway and I can hear it from here, so I'm sure you guys can hear it as well. So today I, um, I will be getting off work around 6.30ish and go home to my bus. So Micah is currently not working um, and it's actually kind of been working out really well for him to be home, especially now during the summer when we have plants planted and stuff needs to be watered and mowing the yard is a full-time business because um, we only have a push mower, we don't have a riding lawn mower and I'm pretty sure there's a good five acres that has to be mowed, if not more. Um, and it seems like every three days we have to mow the grass. Otherwise, the mosquitoes are just rampant. Um, so this weekend, we're hoping that we can rent a tiller from somewhere close by in town so that we can till out a decent sized garden plot. Right now, there is a raised garden bed and there's pictures posted um, on my blog. So make sure you stay tuned this weekend for that to be posted. Um, I can't really give you a time frame. I don't know how much more I have to do as far as designing the layout of my website, I'm just really picky and sometimes it can take me forever to decide on something. Um, and then I work tomorrow and there's, yeah, Friday I'm off and Saturday I'm off and Sunday I'm off and it's supposed to be really nice. I'm hoping it's not gonna rain tonight on my way home. Um, I'm going off on tangent. Squirrel! So today, for my lunch, I have these... Actually, what time is it? I'll just briefly go through what I'm eating for lunch today. Um, I, so I want to do this because I want to document how I'm going to change my eating habits. I know I've said this in the past in probably other videos, but I have always had a hard time maintaining my weight and have recently learned that I need to increase my protein intake a lot so um, and I have never been a good person about eating lunch lunch is a weird time of the day like I don't know there's you could eat breakfast for lunch you could eat dinner for lunch but as far as like meals it's always like sandwiches and I'm not a big sandwich person um, and salads I got like salads on the side I can eat a salad but I don't know, I'm really weird and picky um, when it comes to my lunches and I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and don't eat breakfast. I haven't eaten breakfast in years, but I do need to get in the habit of doing that. So that's why I wanted to, I want to document this and what my lunches have been. And I'm telling you, it's a lunch of champions. 100% sarcasm, if you didn't catch that. Um, but I, before I move on, after saying that, thank you, thank you, thank you to my husband for spending so much time on getting my lunches, and at, at least he does provide me with something, and he knows it's not his fault, it's my fault, because I'm so picky, um, but he does send me to work with some, um, snacks so that I don't die after a week of not eating, um, so he gave me some blueberries, Blueberries are my absolute favorite. Love blueberries, but I haven't opened these because I was looking and yeah, that is mold. Um, I will probably still eat them. I'll just throw that one out. Yeah. Yummy. The birds can have that one. It's actually not too hot in the shade. I would say it feels more like 79 in the shade. That one looks kind of bad too. Hopefully I won't die from eating moldy blueberries, but, um, so I got blueberries, gave me ruby red squirt, I know I shouldn't be drinking soda, um, squirt has become my favorite though, that and the regular one, uh, Fritos, uh, peanut butter cliff bar, and I'm actually gonna go fill up my coffee and eat this when I get back to work, it's really good with coffee. Peanut butter crackers, which are my absolute favorite. I eat the, I usually eat one every night before bed, like a whole snack thing. Um, a lot of cookies, because you gotta have cookies. And um, I, he didn't send me that with this, but I had this in the fridge at work that I forgot about. But it's 
um, mozzarella wrapped in salami. I've already eaten two that were in here, but um, you can kind of see like he tries to keep stuff towards the protein with like the peanut butter crackers and the protein bar. Um, and then he makes sure that I have some type of fruit, whether it's a banana or um, blueberries. We'll be having raspberries soon, so let me come up with some fresh raspberries. I'm so excited. Um, 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 I keep saying, um, another thing to mention is that I, I was watching a car in my rear view mirror and I lost my train of thought. Hmm, I don't remember. Anyway, I have just a few minutes to run in and, um, return. I'll show you what I have to return. So, what do I do with it? We um, got Charlie a chuck it. It looks like this. You put the ball on the end of it and you throw it, and it's a lot less effort from just having to use your arm. And we got her the large one, not this one. And it it like throws it too high, and we have a lot of trees because we live in the forest, and it like hits the trees. So we wanted a smaller one because if you held it like we were holding it more up here on the larger one, and it you could. Um, throw it lower and so I was looking for the smaller one and they had a medium one at Target but it looked the same size and I wasn't sure what size ours was I keep looking at myself and not at the camera um, and so I got the small one and this is actually a mini ball not a regular size tennis ball and she uses a regular size tennis ball so I am going to go return this and I don't see the receipt in here I know Bubba said he put it in here, but I don't see it. That's not it. Um, so I have to go return that for the medium one. And then I'm going to go refill my coffee because I drink way too much coffee. But I have a um, bulletproof coffee video coming up, so stay tuned. I think that's going to be the first one I post this weekend. Actually, yes, that is going to be the first one I post because I said I was going to post that last time. So I will get one vlog or one blog posted and my blog like up and running and the vlog post of bulletproof coffee and then hopefully I can work in another video of just like a quick update of the farm and where everything is at I think that'll be a, a really cool video to do so we can just kind of get everybody up to speed on the progress that has already happened that I haven't been able to document. Uh, well, they have documented, but I haven't posted, so nobody knows about it. So anyway, I know this is very long-winded, and I've probably re repeated myself a million times, but I'm just done. I'm done making excuses. I'm done trying to be a perfectionist, because no one's perfect but Jesus. And though I strive for perfection, it's just not going to happen, and I have a lot to say, and a lot to learn, and a lot to teach others, and yeah. So that is my lunch. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's lunch. And stay tuned for this weekend's massive progress update. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Wrong button.